Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Virgin Warrior here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It is so beautiful. The birds are singing. And I hope you are having an awesome day as well. And so as we go into our topic today, our part two of tact and sympathy, uh, I remember I always have to ask you, make sure you guys study, study, study the word. This is where we get our divine power, our divine instructions from. And of course, we know the clock of time is ticking, ticking, ticking. And Jesus is getting ready to come, and he wants to make sure that you are ready to receive him. So we just need to study, study like we have never studied before, so it's later than we think. And of course, we know Jesus is a gentleman. He keeps on knocking on the door of our hearts, and we just have to open our hearts and let him in. And it's a decision, moment by moment, we have to continue making over and over and over again. Because at any moment, you can choose not to. But I'm glad that you decided to um, to love him and to serve him. And he stayed, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. And that is John 3, 16. So before we go into our study today, let us go ahead and take a bow for prayer. They kind of gracious and Father, I thank you for this beautiful day, Father. I thank you for my sister and my brother that stopped by today. I ask you, Father, that you will decrease me so that you will be increased is my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Awesome, my sister, my brother. Okay, so let us go into the topic today. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up the last paragraph from yesterday. Oh, but before I do that, right, I've got to do my scripture reading. What am I thinking, right? So scripture reading is coming from John 1.1. 1, 1. It's one of my favorite. John 1.1. 1, 1. And it said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Isn't that beautiful? John 1.1. 1, 1. That's one of my favorite texts. Besides John 3.16, that is. Okay, so let us go into the topic today. So i uh, pick up the last sentence from yesterday. It says, lift up Jesus crying, behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world, John 1, 29. He alone can satisfy the craving of the heart and give peace to the soul. That was yesterday. Here is part two. Of all people in the world, reformers should be the most unselfish, the most kind, the most courteous. In their lives, they should be seeing the true goodness of unself unselfish deeds. The workers who manifest a lack of courtesy, who shows impatience at the ignorance or waywardness of others, who speak hasty or act thoughtlessly can close the door to the heart so that he can never reach them. So we need to be kind at all times. It says, as the dew and the still showers fall upon the withering plant, so let words fall gently when seeking to win men from error. God's plan is first to reach the heart. What did I just say? God's plan is first to reach the heart. We are to speak the truth in love, trusting in him to give its power for the reforming of the life. The Holy Spirit will apply to the soul the words that is spoken in love. Let me repeat that. The Holy Spirit will apply to the souls the word that is spoken in love. Mm. Naturally, we are self-centered and opinionated. But when we learn the lessons that Christ desires to teach us, we become partakers of his nature. Henceforth, we live his life. The wonderful example of Christ, the matchless tenderness, with which he entered into the feelings of others, weeping with those who weep, rejoicing with those who rejoice, must have a deep influence upon the character of all who follow him in, in sincerity. By kindly words and acts, that, let me go back, by kindly words and acts, 
They will try to make the path easy for the weary feet. Mm. So everything we do should be in love. And it says truth, right? Truth. In love and in truth. Because that's what God is all about. So that concludes part two of tact and sympathy. So on Monday, we're going to go into a word in season. That will be from Monday. Okay? And so here is the hymn for today. But before I go into the hymn, I hope you guys are having a great uh, preparation day. Somebody might say, well, what is a pre preparation day, right? Preparation day is for those individuals that decide to make Jesus the Lord and Savior of their life. The one that he commanded us to keep the Sabbath holy, those, those individuals, that from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown is the Sabbath hour. So preparation day is what when we prepare our hearts, we prepare the clothing that we're going to be wearing tomorrow. Uh, for for church or you know sometimes we might just go into go into nature but we still make preparation right whether we prepare the foods whether we iron our clothes or get our shoes polished those are what we call preparation day hey ob thank you for stopping by my friend thank you so much so that is what conclude that's that is what preparation day is about meaning that on saturday we do not be ironing we do not be washing we don't, we don't do that kind of stuff. But however, we can go and visit the sick and go minister to people, knock on doors, things like that we can do, right? Uh, we do our gas today if we have to get gas, things like that. We wash the car. All that stuff is done before the Sabbath hours. That's just, I mean, that's how we are trained to do um, since we state that the Sabbath is a holy time. So we just make preparation. But I don't know for you or uh, from, but for me, uh, from one Sabbath to the next. So like on sunset Saturday, I'm already preparing for the next Sabbath hour. Okay. So I got like six days to prepare. So when the Sabbath comes, I, I have almost uh, have everything ready and we just need to make sure that we also have prepared our hearts so that we can be in tune uh, with the Lord. Okay, so that is what Preparation Day is about. So here is the hymn, Oh, Worship the Lord. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Bow down before him, his glory proclaim with gold of obedience and incense of lowliness. Kneel and adore him. The Lord is his name. Lo, at his feet lay thy burdens of care, carefulness. High on his heart, he will bear it for thee. Comfort thy sorrows and answer thy prayerfulness, guiding thy steps as may best for thee be. Fear not to enter his court in the slenderness. Of the poor wealth thou wouldest reckon at thine. Truth is its beauty and love is its tenderness. These are the offering to lay on his shrine. These though, be, though we bring them in trembling and fearfulness. He will accept for the name that is there. Morning of joy give for evening of joy tearfulness trust for our trembling and hope for our fear okay so we are in need to be worshiping god at all time and for those of you might be going to different trials and tribulation i know i had a friend that uh, uh, passed away and we had her memorial service uh yesterday but regardless of wherever we find ourselves, my sister and brother we still need to be focusing on the lord because soon and very soon Jesus is coming, okay? And we know that Saturday is still the Sabbath. From here until eternity, we'll be celebrating the Sabbath, okay? And for loved ones that have died and have, don't know anything about the Sabbath, but they kept Sunday to the best of their ability, God will, when Jesus comes back, he will raise them up and they will be caught up in the air with him. And then, remember I said, we'll be... Uh, the travel to, to heaven is a seven-day journey. So within that seven-day journey, they will be spending their first Sabbath before we get to heaven. Isn't that beautiful? So regardless of where we find ourselves, make sure that we are living, um, living the life, living the life, okay? 
yes, we yeah, we start we you know we feel so sad that we won't be able to spend time with the person that had passed away. But nevertheless, we got their memory, things that they have done for us, and we just need to continue to be remain faithful to the end. Remember, we only have one chance, one chance. It's not like I have today, and then uh, and then some people are going to be caught up, and then you then you get a seven year. No, 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 no. That's a lie from from the devil. That's a lie. Once we die and close our eyes, and we are and we go to sleep, okay. When the trumpet is sound, those individuals that die in the Lord will be raised, and then they will meet the Lord in the air. Remember, Jesus will not touch this earth, okay. Not not until after the thousand years, but he will not touch the earth. So we as individuals need to be studying, studying. It's beautiful. There's some beautiful love story. So instead of watching the TV and all that stuff, listen, there's some beautiful story in here. And there's some also some, some terrible stories in the Bible too. But we know the, the, um, the information is in here to give us strength, to give us hope that we can too can be saved if we choose it's a choice right it's a choice that we make moment by moment so let us continue to worship the lord in his holiness let us bow for prayer the kind of gracious and the father i thank you thank you father for giving me another opportunity to share the love that you have given to me father father we ask you father at this moment father that you will cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Cleanse my brothers and sisters from all unrighteousness, Father. We lay all our burdens at your feet, Father. And make us white and still, Father. We know that you are answering our prayer. And we just thank you, thank you, thank you for dying, for saying Jesus to die on Calvary's cross for us and for giving us another opportunity, another day to get our life in order. And we just thank you, thank you. We give you all the praise, honor, and glory. Be with us is my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Okay, my brothers, my sister, hope you guys have a happy Sabbath. It's going to be a beautiful time. I tell you, every time we, we uh, celebrate the Sabbath, it's a beautiful day. Uh, every time you wake up in the morning, it's a great day. It is a beautiful day. So continue to uh, offer praise and thanksgiving to God, and I shall talk to you on Monday. So be blessed, my sister, my brother, and thank you guys for stopping by. Take care.